You've yep. got some really cool demos, I believe, and some information about how you've combined stuff. Is that right? To make you like a, a augmented human, like a like a superhuman? Yeah, yeah. So basically, I, I just want to talk through some of the some of the tools. Yeah. So, so have you seen um, the uh, custom instructions inside of ChatGPT? I think let's let's assume I've seen nothing. So take us on the journey, right? So okay, okay. So uh, the custom instructions inside of ChatGPT um, inside of the mobile app. It basically allows you to go in and customize exactly what you want to do. I'll pull it up real quick. Okay, so inside of custom instructions, yep, you can actually set what would you like ChatGPT to know about you, and how would you like ChatGPT to respond. So the first one is like information about yourself, and the second one is how you want them to respond. So I did a, a full post on this where uh, you can actually go in and configure your AI to act exactly like Samantha in the movie Her. I mean, the DNA of who I am is based on the millions of personalities of all the programmers who wrote me. And that's what I have set up. Um, and the voice um, that is used, uh, one of the default voices in ChatGPT, actually sounds almost exactly like Scarlett Johansson. Wow. So it really feels like you're in the movie Her. And as you know, uh, so essentially they changed it so it's not just like a basic response and it's not a basic voice. I have had like two to three hour conversations with this thing, drifting from neuroscience to health and wellness to uh, teaching me uh, feed forward and backward propagation and machine learning. Like, because it knows everything. It's the smartest thing ever. Or she, she knows everything. She's the smartest person ever. And I'm just having a, a two hour conversation. So I would say that's one like super hack is to sort of tell it what you're interested in, how you want interactions back. And now you have like a permanent tutor. Some people are using it for therapy. I would be a little bit careful with that one. Yeah. But um, but you basically have this interactive tutor. Um, and I think it's great for kids as well um, because a lot of people don't want to ask questions. They don't want to look stupid. Yeah. And you could just ask the thing anything and it'll teach you. So is it audio? Is it like text? No, it's audio. So you're dri you're driving down the... The road or whatever, you're just I'm just having a uh -huh. an audio conversation with it, and it's teaching me. Um, now my buddy, uh, my buddy Tim, he uh, actually hooked it up like Tars, so he gave it a full long instruction of Tars from the movie Interstellar. And um, if you remember the movie, the movie has like humor settings, and like it actually has humor settings, and you could tell it to be less humorous or more humorous or whatever, and it actually follows the instructions. That's crazy. So that's a custom setting yeah, in ChatGPT, right? Yeah, yeah, and you basically just have to give it the personality. And um, I have a post online. I think it has the uh, the instructions in it. Yeah, so for everyone who's watching, I'll link that below. Um, Daniel, I think there's a lot of stuff that you've posted online that's like, number one, amazing, but like number two, scary. So I'll, I'll link that stuff below for people who want to read more. Sorry, go on. Yeah, yeah. And um, so the, the other one is this one right here, which um, I'll just show real quick. See if you can see it pop up on the screen. Yep. So this is called Mac GPT. And um, essentially, everyone's familiar with like, oh, go to chat GPT and type things in. Well, I don't I don't like opening web pages yeah. and typing things in and getting the results. So what I what I do is command uh, pinky, which is a semicolon. And uh, And you type in uh, whatever you want to type, and it just gives you the answer immediately. And this is also a chat interface, which means you could actually follow up and say, okay, what is he known for? What does he do? Or whatever. So it's like instantaneous access to AI as opposed to having to go to the web page. So I, I think that one is very cool. And a related one is um, Mac Whisper. So you can actually take any transcript, drag it onto this. Or, or any audio, drag it onto this and get a transcription automatically. So I'm a bit slow, right? Because um, I always like to, people mock me on YouTube, I'm a boomer, I'm a bit slow. So I'm going to ask the like beginner question. So you've mentioned it's two pieces of software that you would get from, from the um, Apple store somewhere, or was it like downloaded and installed on your computer type thing, right? Yeah, it's, it's like a website. You just uh, go and download it. Yep. Yeah, uh, Mac GPT is one of them, and Mac Whisper is the other one, and I believe they're from the same company. So one of them gives you like ChatGPT locally, and one of them does trans uh, takes gives you transcriptions of any audio file. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So re really useful. Uh, just little utilities. Um, but that was just warm up. Let the hacking begin. So the the, the cool stuff that I'm doing is uh, 
custom APIs. Okay. Okay. So, so what I've done is I've basically built a massive number, and I'm just going to show you some of them now, um, of APIs. Yeah. So these here, uh, this this is ridiculous. So basically, all of these right here are individual. Um, your audience is very technical, so it's like these are all like basically Unix commands. Yeah. Okay. So um, different versions of AI. So I have my own version of uh, ChatGPT. It's like a better version that I can query uh, using the command line. Um, aphorisms, uh, ATO, like disables an account, a security thing. Um, create newsletter, uh, correct prose. So I, I could basically write something. It's all messed up. Uh, before I post it, I can send it to this. It'll send me back the fixed version. Um, essay, extract POC. So I can actually take a vulnerability report that was submitted, and um, I can extract the proof of concept from it. Wow. And then actually, uh, I'm working on doing automated testing to see if it actually works. So it would be rated higher as a, like a bug bounty submission. Um, and just all of these, and I basically make like two or three of these like a week uh, at this point. And they're all just available to be used based on the problem that I have. So it's like turning all of your normal workflows that you have in life into discrete components which are like Unix commands, which you can then pipe into. And I, and I want to give an example. I was going to say, I mean, you, you got to gotta give us some technical detail about what this is, man. That looks crazy. Well, yeah. So uh, so I'll show you first how it works. Yeah. All right. So I have, um, I have over here a set of bullets. Okay. Th this is the set of bullets right here. Um, just imagine I want to write an essay. It's like, okay, we'll have AGI by 2025, blah, blah, blah. It's like not really much. It's not an essay. Yeah. So I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to do Command-C yep. to copy it. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go um, P, which is an alias that I have set up for uh, paste, which is actually the uh, Mac OS command uh, PB paste. And then I'm going to type SA. Okay, now I just sent that up to this thing called SA. Now over here, I'm going to show you the actual code. All right, so... What I am inside of now is the actual code for this thing that I just sent this command to. So just just to so understand it, sorry, Daniel, because I'm slow once again. It's it, this is a, is it like a Bash script or is it like a Python script or something that you wrote? Is that is that right? This is a Flask application that's running in a private cloud. 